hello today we are going to see the soft gelatin capsule these are basically consist of one piece sealed capsule in case of hard gelatin we have cap and body but in the soft gelatin it is a one piece hermetically sealed shell which can con which contains liquid suspension or semi solids and this soft gelatin capsules are prepared by use of gelatin in that we have to add plasticizers like glycerin or PVA sorbitol lining and this plasticizers will give you elasticity to your product and special important that when the drug is volatile or drug materials susceptible to deterioration in the presence of air they are sealed in this type of capsules an advantage of this soft gelatin capsules includes it gives better compliance, easy to swallow, product differentiation by color size shape, better temper evident, matlab, they are not easily open up and material can be loaded or emptied, dose accuracy and uniformity can be done and it can be used for ophthalmic pressure also. Soft gel shell allows custom shapes and size for oral, topical, chewable and all. Now in case of disadvantage, when the drugs are highly moisture sensitive, they are difficult to incorporate. If fluorescent material cannot be incorporated because it causes softening, delicious material also cannot be incorporated because it causes brittle or hardening of capsule. And very important is the cost is much high. Why? Because it requires special equipment. And here limited choice of excipient with the gelatin. The application of soft gelatin capsules are it can be used for oral and suppository dosage forms. And the special package in the tube forms for human veterinary and topical ophthalmic and rectal ointment. Shapes and size they are available in different different shapes, spheroids, ovoids, cylindrical tubes, and pear shapes with its difference in the volume. Tube shapes can fill maximum amount 10 ml, cylindrical can fill maximum amount 25 ml. <coughs> These are the different rounds, oblongs, tubes, very nicely given in the latchman. Now, <coughs> the very important concentration in the formulation of soft gelatin first is its formulation development, it includes shell formation and filling. Here, the shell formation and filling both can be done simultaneously. Now, in case of soft gelatin, formulation of shell, when important is gelatin, plasticizer and water. Gelatin composition is 40 to 50 percentage. In that, we have to add plasticizers in the concentration of 20 30 percentage to, impo to impart elastic elasticity and pliability and water 30 to 50 percentage. Then, a whole mixture is uniformly blend and a gelatin ratio of gelatin to plasticizer 0.8 is the plasticizer and 1 is the gelatin for soft gelatin. When we go for hard gelatin, instead of 0.8, the plasticizer becomes 0.4. Matlab, amount of plasticizer is less in case of hard gelatin and higher in case of soft gelatin. And other ingredients other than plasticizer and gelatin, these are preservatives, opacifier, order taste, modifiers and all this. If we have chewable soft gelatin, then we have to add sugar for sweetening. Sources and type of gelatin that already we have discussed type A, type B. Type A is from skin, B is from bones. <coughs> if you want tough film, then go for B. If you want plasticity in the shell, then go for type A. And the third is acid bone, animal bones. It will give intermediate characteristics. Right, so this is about gelatin. Then now fill formation. You can fill liquid semi-solid suspension dry powders in the soft gelatin they are formulated such that the smallest capsules can fill maximum amount 
with good therapeutic effect and product efficiency and now in case of liquids water miscible liquids you can use pg 400 sorbitols pg ethanol to improve good solubility water immiscible liquids is vehicle <coughs> you can use oils in liquids which cannot be incorporated are aldehyde maximumly and if water content is more than 5% it cannot be used because it softens the your um, soft gel capsule and if aldehyde containing compound is there then it reduces the solubility of your soft gel in capsules right? so suspension is that then it requires suspending agent and water miscible vehicles similarly and water immiscible vehicles like paraffin wax and these wax okay now next method of manufacturing very important is this soft gel capsules are manufactured by four methods plate process rotary dye echo gel and bubble method amongst this the very important is rotary dye it is very very imp for exam as well as industrial point of view the rotary dye is successfully used start the first plate process it is semi automatic process in which we have to place the here we have uh, already prepared gelatin sheets which are plasticized and the two different sheets are taken and this upper half of the sheets we have one dye plate which contains number of dye pockets so we have to place this gelatin plasticized gelatin sheets on upper half of the this and then apply vacuum on the dye pockets so when you apply vacuums then it draw the sheets into the dye pockets and create a hole create a cavity in which we have to fill the liquids and these cavities are filled with the liquid or paste and in second half is folded on the half, first half of sheet and the this filled pockets are shield inserting a sandwich under the dye dye press where capsules are formed and cut out so this is first is plate process second is rotary dye here material to be encapsulated is flow by gravity very important now gelatin sheets are filled on the rolls contain small orifices line up in a, with the dye pocket on the dye roll two plasticized gelatin ribbons are continuously and simultaneously fed with the liquid and paste between the rollers of the dye where capsules are simultaneously filled shaped and sealed and cut from the gelatin ribbons this is very very critical here we have two ribbons gelatin ribbons which are continuously faded from both the sides on the roller and during feeding the liquids or semi solid paste is also sanded on the roller on the rotary dry mechanisms the sealing of the capsule is achieved by mechanical pressure on the dye roll and heating up to 30 to 40 see this here this, from both the side we are having these are the pre loaded gelatin gelatin sheets and when machine, this is rotary dry machines when you have when you send it then from both the side this these are um, sheets are loaded and these are the rotary um, wheels which contains dye on the surface and when it rotates then the the sheets are shucked into this rotary dry and it's create cavity and when uh, from the top the material to be filled is filled on the hopper and it enters into the both the cavity and when when this ro rolls rotates dye is rotates then it press at the center and little bit temperature of 30 to 40 will seal this cavities and you will have this subgelatin capsules in the cutted form Now, so the the typical parts of machines are spreader box, cooling drum, 
why is this spreader box so for easy spreading of gelatin solution cooling drums so for cooling of the gelatin solution it forms sheets oil lubrication rollers for lubricating these rollers drilling rubber rollers die rolls injection wedge for injecting the preparation which is capsule strippers for cutting capsule conveyor and medicine filler hopper and medicine filler pump these are the typical parts of the machine now echo gel it is a continuous process for manufacturing of soft gel with powder or granules very important manufacturing soft gels with powders or granules the measures here a roll rotates directly over the die roll and the pockets in two are aligned to each other measuring rolls powder or granules fill mortar under vacuums and the die roll placer sheets under vacuum it is similar to plate process but here it is filled with powders or granules see this this is gelatin sheet over die rolls this is die when the material is filled under vacuum it is shocked so it creates this and this measuring roll which is completely covered when it is filled then its measuring roll is available which enclose the half portion and you are sealing this is called sealing roll it seals the capsules and it is available at the bottom so this is echo gel and the fourth method is bubble method it is a completely seamless one piece of gel capsules can be made under bubble method the concentric tube dispenser matlab you are having a tube within tube so concentric tube it is called as concentric tube one tube inside the other it is called as concentric tubes let this tube dispenser similarly discharge the molten gelatin from the outer annulus and liquid content from the inner you have two tubes the outer tubes discharge the molten gelatin and inner tube will give you the content of the liquid to be filled in the capsules when liquid is discharged into chilled oil it forms droplets which consist of liquid medicament core in the molten gelatin the outer drop is gelatin the inner drop is the liquid so when it comes outside into the liquid which is chilled oil it frozens and turns into soft gel capsules which is filled with liquid and it appears spherical shape under surface tension force and gelatin congeal on cooling and it will be dried this is the bubble method okay now we shaping washing and drying mainly after manufacturing they are supposed to naphtha wash remember this very important after any of the method you have used from the four plate process rotary drying echo gel or your uh, bubble method the capsules are subject to naphtha wash why the two remove lubricants like mineral oils from the outer surface and then centrifuge is used for capsule washing and they are semi dried into washer dry units and then it is dried under temperature 35 degree and washing solvent used in the washing and the towel dryer is used no more quality consideration for first is in grain specification in which it includes gelatin gel strength or its bloom strength so already we have discussed about blue strength so in the 6.66% gelatin solution when it is stored at 10 degree and for 17 hours and when you pa pass a plunger of 0.5 inch of 4 mm distance then the measure is called as bloom strength and uh, it is between 150 to 250 grams so you have to consider this viscosity is very important so 6.66 percent solution is 25 to 45 milli poise viscosity iron content is very important it should not exceed 15 ppm